Lieutenant Hall. Yes, sir. Okay, so what are these grounds called, ma'am? This is our training grounds. Normally, what happens up here is, of course, our rookie class. This is where our rookie class is trained. Yes, ma'am. Also, our personnel can come up here and do training also. Um, when we take you around, you'll see some of the different areas that we train. All right. And, and I'll talk about those. This is our combat challenge field, and that's right here to our right. This is where, um, this is one of the steps in the process of being hired. You have to show that you're physically fit to do the job. And what this, what this challenge consists of, and, and I wish it was set up for you, um, but, but it's not. You can go on the web and see it. Uh, there's actually a national competition that we are, how many world champion? Uh, I think we're at, I think it's the fifth ring, sixth ring, six, world six years of world champion. Wow. Six. In the event. World champion? And Mrs. Hall yeah, is actually a world champion herself. Wow. Uh, my only claim to fame is I was the very first one to do it. But anyway. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, and the course is actually identical to the, the competition course. But what you do is you, you suit up in uh, the bunker coat, a helmet, the air pack, not the pants. You have to have the gloves. And you start out at the base of the tower. And there you pick up a 45 pound hose pack. You put it on your shoulder and you take off and you go up to the top of the tower. At the top of the tower, you drop the 45 pound hose pack, you reach over the railing and you pull a rope. And on the end of that rope is another 45 pound hose pack. Mm -hmm. You're up at the top. Hand over hand, you have to pull it up five floors. Then you have to pull it up over the railing and put it in a box that's located at the very top. After that, then you come back down the tower as you come off the tower, you see the metal thing to the right right there? We call that a Kaiser machine. There's the, that's a 90 pound I-beam that's on there. You have to take a sledgehammer and hit that and knock it six feet. Once it clears the six feet, you are done with that portion of the cover. Then you lay the mallet down and you have to run through the fire hydrant, serpentine. At the end of the serpent, <laughs> yeah, because you're breathing extremely hard. At the end of the serpentine, we have a 220 pound fire hose. That means when you pull it, you're pulling 220 pounds. You have to advance it straight ahead. You have to run through these doors here. You open the nozzle up and you hit a target. This target drops, then you lay the hose down. From there, you cross over to, you see where the red line is? That red line, there's a 185 pound dummy waiting there. The dummy is bigger than I am, weighs um, 20 pounds more than me. You have to pull that dummy 100 feet. When you clear the line, your the competition is over. Wow. Oh, but you had to hold that thing I'm tired of looking. Oh, like it was a personal, right? Like <laughs> yeah. It's like she's pulling the dummy. And with the, most of the gear. Because you know if people are happy now. Yeah, you're, you're still cupping the dummy under the arms, right? So it's, it's Correct. Like this. Just like she was showing you, it just she had the dummy with her. Can you show us one more time, Lieutenant Hall? <laughs> <laughs> like jacket and pants, it, it appears heavy with like the tank and everything. It is. All of the equipment together weighs close to 45 pounds. Oh, wow. Wow. On top of the pulling the 45 pounds, and then the 185 pound dummy is what that is okay. that's what breaks most people. They tend to get through the first portion. But your lactic acid builds so high at that point of the, the challenge that uh, that dummy is just really tough. It feels like it's 400 pounds. All right, guys, when we go in the building, please don't touch anything because it will leave your clothes flat. Okay? Right? We are he said, please don't touch anything because it will leave your clothes black. This is the burn building. Pay attention. These are important instructions. Pay attention. You're going to notice that these are just um, basic buildings, and we put the furniture in there we make it whatever we want to make it whether you know we can make it like a residential structure or an apartment um, or an office building but anyway we'll go, we're just gonna walk in the front door remember don't touch anything do not touch anything you don't want to sit out here <laughs> This is where we also train exploring, too, when they come up here. They do literally everything that rookie class does, our sports do.
and he been eating. And this is what you have to drag away you oh no. Oh no. I'm good for that because I was gonna say. Look at him. Yeah, he he's heavy. Um actually actually the, the one all the one that you have to use for the when you try out is a little bit lighter than him. Um, but when you're actually a fireman, you have to use this one. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say that weighs? <laughs> this one here I think weighs right at 200 pounds. Okay. The one that you try out with is 185. Okay. Ooh, okay. Um, Can I get one of the girls to pick yeah. it up one more time? Okay, you gotta pick it all the way. Right there. Right there. One, two, three, hold. <laughs> one, two, three, hold. <laughs> Beautiful, alright. <laughs> Alright, so we can set fires in here. Oh, Maybe this really one's that happy. This one's where you'll really get hurt. This is where we actually set the fire. Now we can allow the fire to run out yeah, from here a little bit, but we can actually burn out here. Here's where the recruits will learn to surf. And here's where they learn to put fire out. Oh. consume the entire room and virtually start to work its way out the door and then our firemen would train them to come in and, and, and put it out. Right. Pretty neat? Yeah. We think it is. We think it is. Actually though this one is outdated um, and we're hoping if the economy will get a little bit better maybe within the next year or two we're going to build a new one. A much bigger and nicer one. Alright guys in this quadrant here we will bring cars in and this is where we practice extricating patients. Um, we don't really have, these are the only two we have. Typically you might see eight or ten in here uh, to include armored vehicles like um, your, um, the services that carry your, your money, you know, like a bank depository kind of thing. Uh, buses, school buses, that kind of thing. Anyway, we cut them up here and then we'll have the um, towing service tow them back off and crush the cars. All right, this car here has been burned thousands of times. Um, it sits on a gas main that we control over here on this tower. And literally, the firemen cannot put it out until we allow them to put it out. Um, and so what they do is they get a lot of experience um, putting out car fires. How many of y'all know or knew that cars burn easily? Very easily. Very easily. We were, it's, a, it's a large percentage of what we respond to our, our car fires. <clears throat> <laughs> and that is the gas tower where the gas is supplied for them to do their burning. <laughs> now, that's where they have to go to the top and repel down. Alright guys, this is our repelling tower. <clears throat> this is our repelling tower. Uh, Y'all saw some of the photos how they come off the side of it. In addition, we have what we call a standpipe system in the inside. And so we can do mock drills of how we would uh, fight fire in some of your higher rise buildings. The confined space, we're not going to be able to tour today. And I regret that. Uh, one, for time. And two, we'd have to put you in some gear so you wouldn't get dirty. Um, and we just really don't have that. However, if you... If, if, if you join the Explore program, you will actually pretty much You'll do, it. <laughs> do that and everything else we've done up here today. Mm -hmm. You'll do it. The children are getting the opportunity to climb, to get that first-hand experience of what it's like to go through training. They have to climb up here with a 45-pound pack and then pull 45 pounds up on the rope. Let's see how well they're doing here. You got some that don't want to venture so high. Okay, let's go. All right.
thank you so much for letting us come out here, responded to my call out of the blue. Thank you to Dr. Dukes for recommending this. And we enjoyed ourselves. The it kids, was... they never had this type of experience, didn't even know that this is what was going on out here in their backyard, so to speak. You know, and I think we've only shown them just a little taste of what we have to offer. Because uh, there's so much of the medical field we didn't even, you know, touch on. Have so. Assuming that Dr. Dukes did, so yeah, you know, it was our yeah. pleasure. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you. Thank you. Don't go down my steps. You're in panic mode already. I'm on top of the world. I didn't want to say anything. I thought she got some guns on there. You get a chance to see how it is, but you have all your gear on. You have that pack on, and you have this on your shoulder as you go all the way up to the top. At the top, you see on each side a box. Take this and you throw it right in the box. Oh. Now this one's lighter than the one you actually have to hold. Hang it on your shoulder. It just hangs on your shoulder. Now normally, normally it's, it's two of these because this is what's called a high rise. For a second. This is what you call a high rise pack. The reason that we do this, this simulates a lot of the activities that a firefighter does. And with the high-rise pack, when you're in a large building and you have to get to like the sixth floor, this makes it easy and accessible because you throw it over your shoulder, you run up to that floor, and then you can deploy the hose and use it. Okay, so it's already like packaged for you. So that's one of the, the things that we use is what's called a high-rise pack. Uh huh. This is the mallet. It's coated, rubber coated. You can feel how heavy it is. This is the mallet we use to hit. Now, what's under here is the same thing, but this is a, a better quality one. We use that one uh, just for applicants. There's a nice one under here. Lieutenant, grab the mallet one more time, please, ma'am. <laughs> this is the mallet that you're going to use. Why would you hit that thing? Huh? Why would you hit it? Why? Yeah. Uh, it's simulating chopping, like if you had an axe in your hand and you had to chop oh, on top of a roof. Okay. So you you don't usually go out and hit metal objects, <laughs> but it, it's simulating like chopping, if you were chopping. Now this is a smaller version of the hose. He said you had to pull a hose up. It's attached to a rope. Now this is half of the, half. this is probably about 20 pounds. The other one's 45, it's double the size, okay? And this, when you're at the top, as you saw how high that was, were you a little bit, a uh, little bit gassed when you made it to the top? No, oh. I was ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put some gear on you. <laughs> Usually, you get to the top and you're gassed already just from doing that. When you get to the top, you'll see a rope tied to the end post, and you're pulling it in this direction. With this is what is coming up, 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 and when you get it to the top, that goes into that box that you saw at the top. So while you're at the top, there's two things. This pack here and this are what go into the box. But again, it's twice as big as that one. So you have to lean over that uh -huh. and, and hold the rope. So. Yes, or what fall before? No. <laughs> I don't think No, especially like when we have recruits or so forth, there's always personnel that are up there. So they're behind you. We've had people that try. We got people that were light enough where the weight that they were pulling was heavier, so the tendency to fall forward was right there, but we haven't. Wow.